Hello everybody, um, this is uh, the middle of March and we're still in 5k lockdown and we're out over the sea, over the bay, Galway Bay. We've just seen a beautiful flock of geese flying over and when we looked down we saw such a pretty sight and this is dandelion but it's not actually in the dandelion family very fine tassely petals very distinctive stem and what's very distinctive as well is that I can't see any leaves these are in full flower this is just passing over um, the ones that have passed over with the flower have leaves so this is a very unusual plant in that it emerges flower first with no leaves and I'm going to introduce you to Kate, who happens to be a herbal medicine student in Hartwood, um, doing a professional herbal medicine course. And she has, she is discovering what this plant is. I haven't revealed the name yet because what's very, very nice, and, and Kate has a lot of training in this, is um, looking at plants anew. Like you're the first person who has ever described them. Would that be a good... Yeah. Uh, we don't have a teapot, otherwise we'd make a cup of tea. But you are happy to eat it, I think, are you? Yeah, yeah I'm nibbling away. She's nibbling away yeah. at it. I'm eating a new Stem, plant. flower um, and leaves are used. I'm going to hone in um, on the leaves now in a minute. But Kate is going to tell us what it tastes like. And what she thinks it does without knowing what it is. So it's quite um, opening. It feels very. I think when I tasted it first, it was like um, quite fiery. Mm -hmm. um, so fiery and opening. Yeah. You've digested some for about five minutes now. Where does it go when you swallow it? I feel it in my head. Do you head. feel it in your head? Right. Yeah. It feels like up here and in my mouth. And yeah. My chest. And my and you're through your chest and your throat. Yeah. Okay. We'll show people the leaves now, shall we? Um, these are the leaves. You can see the flowers are passing over. The leaves are emerging. I just realised what it is. What is it? No, maybe I'll, I'll get it wrong. It doesn't make any is difference. It cold's foot. Cold's foot. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> um, would it have made any difference if you got it? No. Not right. No, no I, I know it a lot better now. And so, um, and this is the spirit of learning about herbal medicines: is that it's not about being right or wrong. Um, our ancestors didn't know whether they were right or wrong, they just tried everything. Um, and gradually, um, empirical science is learning by experiencing, and herbal medicine science has emerged over centuries. Um, it gets its name from its shape, which is, I don't know much about horses, but is apparently the shape of a colt's foot. You get these, um, it has a, a serrated, slightly serrated edges, um, it has a downy back. The, the little tiny hairs, white hairs, are just about visible. And as the plant gets older and older, those threads are more visible. And on top, there is often a cobwebby appearance. And I have one here that shows it. Um, see, it looks like uh, cobwebs. Um, but this is, is actually produced by the plant. Um, so we use the, the, the leaves and the tops and it's colt's foot, Tussilago farfara is the um, Latin name um, and it is a chest medicine mm -hmm. for coughs um, I definitely and it's that heating <laughs> and uh, you can see, um, thank you Kate, you've just shown beautifully how we know that these things work and um, it's by experience. It's an experiential. Learning to be a herbalist is a transformative experience. Um, and it's very, very hard work, isn't it, Kate? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Awful work. Wonderful work. <laughs> but it's tough. Yeah. So um, I hope you've enjoyed our introduction to spring um, out over Galway Bay on the Wild Atlantic uh, Way. Okay, bye.